this is BJT TV and I'm Charles Alcock. We're continuing our series of video buyer's guides with a look at the large cabin category of jets. And behind me, I've got a great example of that. This is from the Falcon 2000 family. Let's go and have a close look inside. So here we are inside the Falcon 2000 DX. And the total cabin volume here is 1,240 cubic feet. What does that mean? Well, I'm just under six feet, as you can see. I've got plenty of headroom here, plenty of room to move around. This air aircraft can seat 10 passengers. At the back, we've got uh, a dining table configuration, essentially. A couple of extra seats here. And then moving to the front of the cabin, we've got a classic Club 4 configuration of seating. Uh, you'll notice here on the side, each seat has its own video monitor uh, for, the, for the entertainment system aboard this aircraft. And then fold-out tables, which come from the side panels. Plenty of space here to recline, to work, to chat with your friends, and no better place to enjoy a glass of Chateau d'Assaut Saint-Emilion. Well, what we're looking at now is essentially the top end of the large cabin category. It's the Bombardier Global XRX. And by comparison with the Falcon we saw earlier, this has a cabin volume of 2,140 cubic feet. It can seat up to 19 passengers. And looking here in the rear of the cabin, we've got a, a divan that will actually fold out into a full-size bed, making this rear area essentially a private bedroom for you with your own TV. Moving forward into the, into the middle of the cabin, again, we have a, essentially a dining configuration here for four people to dine together, another seat here. And then again, at the front of the cabin, another of the Club 4 configurations. And you'll notice that there are video screens uh, off on this side and fold-out screens coming from these side panels here. Now they call this the Global XRX and the clue is in the name. It's called Global because it has a massive range of 6,000 nautical miles so you can really hop between the continents quite comfortably uh, and get wherever you need to get to in the world. The aircraft is priced at roughly, roughly 50 million dollars but as you can see plenty of real estate for that price. And moving forward, they've even thought of the crew as well. We're coming through the galley here where the, the food would be prepared. Now, on these much longer flights, obviously the, the crew are going to need to take a rest every so often. And that's been provided for here with this wonderful crew bed. Also in this large cabin category, Gulfstream has plenty to offer. The G450, priced at just under $35 million, has a bit less range at roughly 4,000 nautical miles. Gulfstream also has a G500 and a G550, taking the price up to 43 million and then to 47 million. Larger cabins than the 450 and also that global range of more than 6,000 nautical miles. Now in the same group of aircraft, you'll find the Embraer Legacy aircraft, the Dassault Falcon 7X, and coming up soon, Cessna's new Citation Columbus. Well, believe it or not, business aircraft cabins actually get larger than this. So coming up in the next of our series, we're going to be taking a look at what the industry calls biz liners. <laughs>